Hello. Ah. Red light. I'm red lighting my distilled water. It's not Halloween, children. <laughs> it's not Halloween. It's me with my blue block, my red light therapy. No. Um. Okay, so I learned something really fucking cool today in a podcast from the Godfather, Dave Asprey. He's a fucking legend. I mean, learn from everybody, right? It's not perfect with this information, but this is good. Um, I find the, the, the topic of light endlessly fascinating because we've gone so far. We've denatured ourselves from light, um, sunlight, spending out time with the light. I'm not perfect, too, by the way, on light and getting enough light. Sometimes I go in and face all the time, and sometimes I'm not, but I make sure I do because it fucks up my sleep. If I don't get at least two, three hours out every night, every day, even on the clouds, it's fucking a little bit rainy out there, so I do what I can when it rains. Um, I'll open the window, I'll open the door downstairs, I'll even get, get wet a little bit under the rain. It's really fucking powerful um, to make sure you get that light. Um, but um, blue blocking glasses, there's different styles, right? There's different types, there's different there's really cheap ones, um, really cheap ones that are really powerful. Um, but there's different types. There's yellow ones that Dave Asprey sells, and you may have seen the yellow ones. It doesn't play up. Um, there's different styles. There's yellow ones that um, block out um, blue, but they don't block out yellow, orange, and red, so they're not very hardcore. They're more for daytime use. If you just don't want the blue screen, the sharp blue screen, you've got um, yellow ones. They're kind of expensive, too. I don't think any cheap ones. They've got the average ones, which is people go for the orange-tinted ones, which are very good. People wear at night time. They block out all the colors except for orange and red. Then there's more um, hardcore ones you can get cheap as well for like, this is five, six pounds, nine dollars. Um, DeWalt in the USA, it's, this is not called DeWalt, it's called Razor Tinted, but they do the same thing. What it does happens, what happens is when you wear them, it turns everything red. I mean, dark red. So, I don't give too much a shit about looks, although it doesn't look bad, does it? I mean, it looks like I'm going fucking skiing, right? But when I look through it, everything turns like a, a um, red. Everything. It's like those 3D glasses you wear, you, they have in the cinema. You and um, they turn everything red. This is it. Now, these are more hardcore to me. It might piss people off having everything red, but they're more hardcore because they block out the orange too. Most people wear orange tinted ones. These are red. And the difference is you're going to produce more melatonin at night time. You're going to produce way more. It's going to put you, because the sun at the sunset time only has pretty much red. It's predominantly red, isn't it? As the sun sets, um, as the sun rises, it's predominantly red. And that red allows the sign from the universe and from God and sunshine that it's time for bed or time to wake up. As the red goes down or the red goes up. But at night time, as the red goes down, right, we're still inside with our lights on. Fucking Edison. What a genius, huh? The light bulb moment. Nah, it's not a fucking genius at all. Um, look what he's done. He's caused so much damage. I mean, I understand I'm using it, but the light bulb is one of the worst inventions of health. Right, in terms of health. So what we do is we mimic the sunset sun by putting on, I put on the red light thing, and if everything becomes red, it's like I'm looking at the sunset because my eyes are only allowing the spectrum frequency of red light, where it's transferring and the blue screen is coming to me. Any colors are there from the fluorescent lamps, whatever blue screen is coming to me red. So it's allowing my allowing myself to produce melatonin, but I haven't got to the what Dave Asprey. Because we know to produce melatonin at night, which is the reason why we're putting on these blue lights, by the way, a huge reason. There's a lot of reasons why you don't want blue light to our eyes. But one of the huge reasons is melatonin. And melatonin makes you sleepy, but it's way more than that. It's a master antioxidant, um, produced um, free radicals, takes away free radicals, anti-cancer. It makes you sleep really good. And I've noticed the more melatonin I make of a night, the, the deeper I sleep and the better I wake up in the morning. I wake up really fucking sharp. Um, but anyway, the, 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 the cool thing that he said is that we know that EMFs can fuck up with melatonin production in two ways. You need to put the glasses on, put your glasses on, and then you also need to um, turn your Wi-Fi off and ha not be near a Wi-Fi router and turn it off from your tablet and your phone, put it on airplane mode. That's what you need to do. Um, but according to him, he's done ex his own experiments that he'd been on a plane and um, a plane, they've got Wi-Fi everywhere. Everyone's got it on their phone. They've got the Wi-Fi from the plane. And yet he put on these glasses, really strong ones, like really strong ones, two hours before the flight, two hours during the flight. And he said he and he has a little ring, you know, a ring that can tell you how long you slept and how deep. And he said he went to really deep sleep. He went to really deep sleep from from having 
from wearing blue blocking, really strong, his own pair, but they do the same thing, these are red. So he put on the blue blocking glasses, he put that two hours before, two hours after, and even despite the Wi-Fi and shit, he got way more deep sleep according to his ring than he normally gets. So what that tells me, because I've always wondered, okay, so say at night time I put the Wi-Fi on, because I come on at night time um, for you guys sometimes, just to communicate on news feeds and to, to talk to you guys and to post my shit as well. I come on. Um, I try and limit it to 20 minutes to half an hour after I've built up. I've been wearing these, I've been turning Wi-Fi off for a bit of time after sunset. It's getting darker here. I put, I put it on, and I, I, the melatonin rises, then I'll come on, on for half an hour, try and limit it, and then I'll go to bed. Um, hopefully pumped full of melatonin. Hopefully. And um, from what he said, what I should be doing, and what I do is I take them off when I'm on my Facebook, because I don't like to look at the screen. Like I don't like to read the words, hi Carl. Hi Lisa, how you doing? I don't like to read, for example, anything on my Facebook newsfeed or, or just look at the screens from with this on because it kind of takes effort and I'm lazy. And also, I was thinking if I did put it on, it's still, because the Wi-Fi's on, I'm not going to be producing melatonin because I've just turned the Wi-Fi on. Well, according to him, that's still going to help my sleep. It's still going to help. This is the point I want to make. If you keep this on all the time at night time and you do put the Wi-Fi on occasionally, it's still going to help your sleep. I didn't know that. I've, I've always wondered that. So it's still going to make a difference that I'm not looking at the blue light. Even though I've got the Wi-Fi on, which I know is stopping the melatonin production, as soon, what I presume is that as soon as the, the Wi-Fi gets off again, if you're wearing these, it's going to make the transition to producing more melatonin quicker. Because we know from science that um, you, if you look at a blue screen before bed, an artificial blue screen, and the longer the worse it is, but the longer, if you look at it just before bed, it stops melatonin production. It delays it. it. Doesn't stop it completely. It delays it for three or four hours. The longer you stay on a blue screen at, after sunset, the, this is the rule. The longer you put, look at a screen um, after sunset, the more it delays melatonin production, and especially just before night. So if you look at five, five nights, shit, you're going to delay a little bit. If you look at your blue screen twenty minutes before you go to bed, it's going to delay a lot. If you look at half an hour before bed, a lot. If you look at it one hour before bed for like five minutes, probably not so much. But, so what I know from him, and what I'm going to experiment too, is that it's still better to keep these bloody on. So that's what I'm trying to tell you and me. I'm going to start keeping them on at night time. So they take it, because I always take them off, and I'm like, I just want to look at my Facebook without this stupid red thing. Because I've already looked at the movies. I watch the te telly or my own DVDs. I watch my DVDs um, with at night time after sunset, because um, it's like three hours for my bed at 10pm. And uh, for three hours, it gets the sunsets are half six. So it's three and a half hours. I go to bed at about 10 p.m. Sometimes even earlier. But so I've got three hours to kill. And um, I look at the DVDs. I watch that, and then I'll come at the very end at nine, half past nine, just for bed. And I'll take my things off, look at the blue screen for five, ten, twenty minutes on Facebook, and then go. But then now I know that I should. You should keep this on. What I'm trying to tell you is that the longer you keep this on, you're going to use the Wi-Fi after sunset, and even if you've got it on all the time, this does make a difference outside of the fact that Wi-Fi seems to inhibit melatonin. Having um, Mimicking the sunset sun and only allowing red light makes a massive difference. And that's key knowledge to me, hopefully to you guys too. But it's just the longer you wear, the longer, the less time you expose your eyes to blue light, the better off you'll be despite the situation you're in, despite the fact you're surrounded by EMFs, despite the fact maybe someone's got a mobile phone on next to you in a transport or whatever. These make a huge difference in and of its side themselves as does something else i'm coming to which is i've been procrastinating on not procrastinating but not i'm gonna buy some nightshades i've got some already but they're not very good i'm gonna experiment more with nightshades and start buying this cheap simple nightshades and start wearing them at night because your eyes are the most important system of light entry for sunlight but that also includes um for artificial fake light and, and your eyes to be Yes, your skin does see light too, so if your room's not completely dark, your skin's going to see the light. Yeah, it will, unfortunately, but it's the, it's, it's the eyes that matter. That's why eye shades are really important. I think even the mainstream know this one, do better than me in this one. I must I must be honest here, even the mainstream, um, those celebrities seem to have their night shades on. And I don't pay for celebrities than me. You wear night, if you wear night shades, you're definitely, you're on a plus. You're doing one thing more than me, so give yourself a pat on the back. If you don't wear nightshades, start looking into it, because I'm going to get into it. I think it's really powerful, because, like I said, the skin might not see light. The skin does see light, and it might still inhibit your sleep, but we know that the eyes are the most important system of light. That's why we wear blue blocking glasses. And by the way, when you're looking at blue screens and blue blocking glasses, 
your face is still exposed to the blue light, isn't it? So your skin's seeing, still seeing the blue light. And also wear like short sleeves if you've got your hands are exposed to the blue light. So the blue light will hit the skin, but it still doesn't stop melatonin production that significantly. You can still feel the melatonin rise. By the way, you know melatonin is rising because you get really sleepy and tired. And uh, you'll feel amazing too. And you start deep breathing slow. That's how, And you start shivering. That's how you know you're making melatonin. So what I'm saying is all skin is a solar panel for light and for fake light. Um, so be warned, wary on that. But really the main one to focus on is the most important um, part of your body for eye entry, your ocular system. But, by the way, that's why sun gazing is the most amazing fucking health therapy in the world too. Because your eyes are and number three is your gut. So I'll talk more about the gut, your second brain, in future episodes. I've also made some videos on that, which I'll put, upload on my YouTube at some point in the future, not on my Facebook. So yeah. Uh, Carl, I'm not too sure, LEDs. I don't know. I mean, I've got an LED red light therapy thing. So, I don't know. I think that's red LEDs. I'm not too sure. But yeah, hope you do. Uh, um, so USA people, type G DeWalt glasses. DeWalt glasses. They're the ones that are hardcore red, and these ones are not DeWalt, they're called Draper. So maybe you type in red laser in UK, or Draper, they'd go for the hardcore red ones. They're cheap, they save a lot of money, and for some reason, people in the biohack community don't don't advertise it enough, probably because they're own, selling their own product, like very much, and uh, Matt Maruka, they're selling their own shit, which is nice, trendy ones, but this is not too bad, and to be honest with you, I don't give a shit how they look anyway. But even if you do, they just, these don't look bad too, but it's really important, that's the thing. With health, you've got to take it seriously, and sunlight to eyes is the most important thing for your health. That means sunlight in the other day, and it also means protecting them from dangerous lights of the night and during the day, because I really shouldn't be looking at this blue screen anyway. It doesn't matter if it's not nighttime, to be honest with you, too long, because it hurts your eyes, and you'll feel it if you look at a blue screen for a very long, long time. Um, I start feeling it in my eyes, so I know it's not good. All right, peace. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and um, <laughs> hope you got some value from what I said, and, and are wearing blue blocking glasses, experimenting with melatonin production, and having deep sleeps with them, and noticing effects, like when I put them on, do I sleep better at night? When I put the orange ones, I sleep pretty good. When I put on the red ones, yes. When I don't look at any blue screens one hour before bed, I seem to sleep better. I hope you're all doing that kind of experiments. Two hours before bed, oh shit. Last night I looked for ten minutes at the blue screen and I fucked up my sleep. These are all things we should be factoring in if we're I know you are, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, peace and love, and uh, thank you very much.